Christian, do you know Rod? Oh, yeah. Welcome to Fishing Discoveries. We're on a mission today. Uh, it's me and Gary, who you've seen course fishing with me several times already. And the mission is a Trent Barbel in the daytime. A lot of people say, oh, you only get them at night. There are people catching them through the day, but uh, we've sort of made ourselves a challenge to come and get a barbel in daylight hours. Um, the strategy is moving away from that sort of carp style barbel fishing we've put in about 20 of these feeders they're like a probably a small drinks can kind of size and this is a Preston um, baiting up feeder that's only very light but I've got a couple of old school what we used to call dead cow uh, feeder leads on the bottom of there to get it down and get the bait out of that the bait I'm using, I don't know how well you can see that. Can you uh, get us that, Gary? It's a uh, barbel ground bait mix, that'll do. Nice slug on the side there as well, John. Yeah, we'll put that on for some chub <laughs> later, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's a barbel mixture that's got lots of hemp and things in it, um, but we've also put some chili hemp in there and some maize and a good few handfuls of pellets, both cheesy garlic flavour pellets and spicy sausage flavour pellets. And I've also put a good glug of cheesy garlic flavouring on. So 20 of these um, and we're clipped up as well. So I, I've basically had a lead around and I felt some gravel uh, just this side of halfway across. Um, nice little sort of rattling feeling as I'm pulling a lead back. So I clipped up, measured it out and it's seven wraps. I'm not giving away the peg number in case you want to come and fish this <laughs> to exactly seven wraps. But uh, at seven wraps, I know I'm about in the middle of a nice spot of gravel. It's really clear. So 20 of those have gone in and then we're fishing fairly fine. I'm fishing a fine braid. It's 10 pound braid um, and it's about three foot six, nearly four foot up length with a size 12 hook and a very small pellet. Don't try and get too close on that because that will go out of focus. But it's just a, I think it's about a six mil pellet and nearly four foot of uh, 10 pound braid. On there, I've got a running feeder rig. It's one of those Corum. Uh, they're really nice, that uh, sort of angled bead, rubber bead there really kicks out the hook length. Braid's a bugger for getting tangled round feeders. It, you know, if, uh, if you get around any kind of snags or have a fish tech and, and drop, you can end up with uh, this braid, all kinds of tangles around things. So that nice little tail rubber and that angled bead there really helps kick that away from your feeder so you don't end up with too many tangles. Um, I'm on 12 pound main line. It's a good solid main line. If you want to know what it is, it's uh, Shimano Technium Black. I don't think you can get that anymore. I've got a couple of 2.2 chest curve rods and I think Gary's on a two and a quarter. Two and a quarter. Up. Um, one and three quarters. Yeah, his, his other rod didn't arrive in time thanks to uh, the fishing shop which was supposed to be here but mm. uh, we've come and he's borrowed one of my pound and three quarters. Um, we're set up with the usual kind of tripod set up, high rods. Um, there's, we got here, now then, yeah we got here uh, an hour before high tide and we were mixing up ground bait and getting getting leaded up and uh, just feeling around so we knew by the time we were baiting up we were bang on high tide time we're four hours from the uh, tide table here so you have to add four hours onto your timetable we caught it just as the river was turning virtually static so we put in loads of bait at high tide and we're going to leave it uh, maybe half an hour before fishing over that and then um, that sort of hour after half after high tide is really where we're expecting fish. I heard, I've heard tell as well that low tide kind of time, as it reaches its sort of bottom, you can expect to fish as well. So we might get two good chances at fish. Um, but it's all theory for now. Let's uh, 
get this feeder out and uh, put it into practice and see if one of us can get a daytime barbel from the Trent. What was the bike like, Gary? Oh, fuck, fucking sweet. <laughs> Couldn't have missed it. Yeah, I heard, battle language. I, heard your, uh, I heard your drag ripping. Uh, I might not be able to film all the way through. If, we, if plan's gone to plan, we might be uh, both in at the same the time. Biggest, biggest other days. It's not, uh, not a chance to wake up yet. You're on a, don't forget you're on a stronger rod. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, I'd call that mission accomplished. We know oh. that that's a barbel. I'd call that mission accomplished, a, day, a daytime Trent barbel. Yep. Um, I think that plan has come together. Let's not count our barbel before they're netted. I'm going to have to get in a position. Oh, that's a nice one, mate. That's a nice one. Let me, I'm nice going to have to wiggle about a bit here. So I'm going to try and keep you in frame, but uh, I'm going to have to do netting duties as well. Christian, do you new rod? Oh yeah. Uh, it's any other time I'd be telling you to tighten that drag, but it seems to be only going when it's really pulling. And when it's that close. Yeah, that, that's, yeah. yeah as you get close. Oh yeah, we got, we're right, going. Get down then. Oh, have you got a net? I'll get down, you worry about it. Uh, Sorry to the folks watching this bit. I'm struggling down a stony bank here. Seen you. Then done another runner. Okay. Net cam. Sink that net. Oh, it's a good one, mate. It's a good one. It looks like as good as my last one. Hang on. Quick look in the net there, we're going to let him recover, just get him a bit more depth. Awesome. So we're going to leave him in net for a few minutes now. Yeah. I'll uh, I'll stop the camera think? right here and uh, next thing we'll see is when we fetch him out. But he wants five minutes rest after that fight. Uh, so, fight's over, it's about two and a half minutes on camera, so it's not a long fight, but they don't half tire themselves, don't they? Yeah, proper fast runs and... Um, you sort of wind them close in and when when they know they're at the bank then off he went um, yeah so I just trusted the drag to to tire it out and um hope that my knotless knot and all my knots held out which they did yeah it was, it was it was certainly testing your tackle yeah um so it's uh it's coming up on five minutes now so i'm just going to turn camera off again and we'll be out so I'll just make sure we've got some wet on that one looking mat we've got a bucket of water as well Where? where do you want okay. me to where am i going to put it where, wherever you can you can put it right behind you there if you want or try and get it flat if you can mate because what you don't want to do is have it skidding around uh, um tangling itself up if, if you need to put it in water you can put it in water that's all right that, isn't it? got you yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That. that's plenty good that so nice and careful just keep your eyes on the fish so these pull out yeah yeah but you don't go out at net at that that's it and just keep an eye on his fins. You can let go of that now. That, you can let go of that. Keep an eye on his fins. Make sure his fins are all straight. He's not got one, you know, bent back. Yeah. That's good. And then just up into the net and up into the cradle. That's it. Lay him flat. And then wrap him up with net. Sort of cover him with net. And then fault cradle over him. So he, if he flips, he's nice and shrouded and protected. It's saying nine pound one ounce. Okay. We'll yeah. weight stuff again, but we know it's about two pound for what it's sat in. All right. Do you want to uh, do as an old one up for the camera? Yeah. Just to get as low as you can. You kneel down and I'll bring camera down low, mate, because we don't want him. That's smashing. That. That's absolutely smashing. And let, let's okay. have him. Uh, let's have him back. You can go in and net if you want, or you can just you can probably put him in. I'm gonna put him on where you are. Thing. Yeah. Just 
Just come downstream a bit, he's on a bit of a rock there, you'll be able to sink him, that's it, you oh, can get his head in water. That's it, and then just keep holding him. Don't let him go, whatever you do. Hey? Don't let him go, whatever no. you do, you want to keep his... Uh... Oh, well he would. Yeah. He was ready. Yeah, when uh, when he kicked then. Yeah. It was properly. As ready. soon as he went down a bit, he was ready. <coughs> yeah, the four foot switch. Oh, this could be a monster because it's really just gone solid on bottom now. It's just nodding. But uh, yeah, I'm a, I went on a long boat link while uh, while you've been. Yeah. I've taken a phone call. I've gone to a six foot hook length. Right. Wow. This feels like a hooked a boat. It, it could be a small fish. There is. It's quite close in, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What's that drag like? There go. It's not. It's not massive, but. Uh, no, I think it's gone. Okay, I can work that net from there. Waking up now. <laughs> there you go, he's woke up. Yeah. I think I think it wasn't until he'd seen you that he decided to run. Yeah. Nice. Oh yeah, it's a good one. Bloody hell. These rods feel lovely and um this is my first fish. On my new rods, I've had them uh, Gray's Prodigy three piece barbell rods for some time. Oh no, he's not. I thought he were done, and he's round for another go. And and if I can bank. just, can you? Uh, and if I can get, I can get this if you want. All right. Stuck on that. I can get that uh, rock. I can get that further out now. There okay. We go. He's not done yet. I've got my drag set quite uh, quite firm, it's only, yeah. you know, just loosened it off a little bit for this inside edge. Because as you get on a short line, if they lunge, you'll just crack off. That's a lovely fish, John. Yeah. That's, cl that's, that's as good as that eight pounder I had the other day. It might be more. It's hard to say though, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's a good, good eight or nine. Well done, mate. Is it in the net? Well done. Passes you, passes you rod if you want. Yeah, go on. Just stick the bait runner on. Yeah. Watch it, because it's a massive long up length. Get camera on while I'm resting in there. That's it. Thanks. Yeah. He's still got some life in him, so I've not completely knackered him out in the fight there. But I'm still going to leave him a good few minutes to rest. Um, they're on strong tackle and we get them in relatively quick compared mm. to someone who's on like eight pound line or something. Yeah. You know, we're fishing 10 pound up links and 12 pound line. And, and quite yeah. strong hooks, thick, yeah. thick hooks. It, it's made my arm and shoulder ache. It's not, not a long fight, but uh, it would, yeah, I like trying to stop someone running away. <laughs> yeah, it's intense. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, he looks, he looks fairly content there. He's upright. Um, but uh, yeah, let's turn camera off. We'll get all weighing gear together and uh, We'll come back with the, uh, let's see how big he is. We've got a rough idea, what were it, 3.1? Three, yeah, three pound, pound one ounce. ounce. For, for the actual uh, gubbins that it's there all sitting in. So, I'll let you, uh, let you read it off to me. What, uh, what we got there? 11, 11. 11, 11. 11. So that's 7, 12, nearly eight pound. Seven, three, nine, eight, and it's yeah. eight pounds ten, isn't it? He, three pound it one was off eight, eleven, eleven. Three pound, sorry, yeah. Listen to yeah. us with maths. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we were off that day they did maths at school. <laughs> so that is eight pound ten ounces of River Trent Barbell in the daytime. Not quite a double. I would have been very happy if it had been a double, but I don't think there's any barbell angler 
turn the nose up at that. Um, I'm chuffed. I don't keep them out at water for long, so that's all you're getting, folks. We're going to uh, just get him right way up. Oh, flipping it. He's gone. He's gone. Yeah. That's what you get when you rest him in net. If uh, you stopped it. No, no, okay. <laughs> I'm panicking there. If you rest him in net for a good five minutes, straight after the fight, so the head never comes out at water. I think that's key to barbell fishing. There's so many people who are eager to get them out for a picture and get out, get them out and get the hook out. And they've got unhooking mats and all the rest of it, but they, they don't give them that rest. Barbell are like sprinters and they absolutely blow themselves out. So they need a few minutes to recover. You know, um, it's not rocket science. Um, just that resting that you saw that I was ready to give him a couple of minutes of support but as soon as his Edward nose down in water he were kicking and he, he took off he's uh, absolutely fantastic fish I'm well chuffed with that one each well done mate uh, Trent daytime barbel if we get any more I'll be happy but uh, if that's all we get for today um, I'm still over at moon it's absolutely what brilliant it's only half four we've got another five six hours of daylight yeah we'll see how we go but uh plan certainly paid off so far i'm i'm well happy i know gary is too yeah we've christened his new rods and uh we've mission accomplished so uh yeah thanks for watching